There's no doubt that Goku was born a child prodigy. Even from a young age, he learned moves and techniques just by watching other people doing them. As he grew older, he refined some of these moves and made them his own. So since Goku has so many moves, today we will be checking out all of Kid Goku's moves. Hey how's it going, my name is Raf and welcome to Dragon Ball Code. Today we are looking at all of Kid Goku's moves in Dragon Ball. And if you like Dragon Ball content, consider subscribing because this channel is all about Dragon Ball. So the first move that Goku made up was Paper Scissors Rock or Scissors Rock Paper or Rock Paper Scissors. The order doesn't really matter because he uses it however he wants. To me this is a move that fits Kid Goku perfectly because it's goofy just like him. For example, he uses his two fingers when saying scissors to poke people in the eye. I mean, to me that's hilarious. The next move he learns is the Kamehameha Wave and he learned this from Master Roshi just by watching him when he was trying to put out the fire on Chi Chi's castle. After that, as we all know, this became his signature move. Next, he has the after image move, which he also learned from looking at Master Roshi, which he thought was Jackie Chun. The first time he did it, he did it against Namu and he just said something like, oh let me just try this move that Jackie Chun did on Quillen, and he did it just like that. Then still when he was fighting Namu, he came up with another move on the spot, and this was the tornado move but it wasn't very effective because it left him very dizzy. But you gotta give it to him because he was making moves on the spot, and that's what I really liked about Kid Goku. Then when he was fighting Jackie Chun, he took the after image technique and made it into a triple shadow right there on the spot and this allowed him to catch Jackie Chan off guard. Another move that Goku learned by just watching was the blow of the eight fists. He learned this one from King Chapa and he used it against Tien when Tien did his move where he grew two arms on his back. This move is a little different from Tien's because he doesn't actually grow six arms. He just moves his arms so fast that it creates the illusion that he has eight arms. Another move that Goku made up on the spot was the Mad Fury attack or Mad Dog attack. And this move is actually what the name says. He acts like a savage mad dog and attacks. Then there is another move that Goku makes on the spot but he doesn't get to use it because Master Roshi uses a hypnosis move on him that makes him fall asleep. Goku's move was called the monkey attack. It's super silly and just like the dog one and this one he acts like a monkey. The next move he has is the headbutt and he uses this one against Tien. He pushes himself with a Kamehameha and hits Tien with the head. This sends them both flying off the world tournament arena and they land outside. Spoiler alert in 3, 2, 1. And the winner is Tien. And finally, his final move is Penetrate, which I don't really think that's the name of the move. I just think that he says Penetrate because that's what he wanted to do when he was doing the move. But we will call it Penetrate. He uses one hand to do a Kamehameha, then flies up in the air and makes a fist and goes straight through King Piccolo. So those are all of Kid Goku's moves. And if you enjoyed this and you would like to support my channel, please check out my Patreon page in the description below. And of course, if you like Dragon Ball content, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.